Hello officially guys. Well, I was gonna say good morning, but it's good afternoon. It's 1230. I hope you all had a lovely Halloween. I tried to film my day yesterday, but as per the usual, it got too crazy and I probably only got like up to breakfast. If that. I might have just gotten like getting ready for the gym in the morning. Um, so I did go to the gym yesterday. Um, I was able to make it through the whole day. No candy. It was phenomenal. Um, it just feels good knowing that you got like I had a group of you doing this with me and doesn't it just feel good knowing that like you said no to the candy it just feels fantastic I am in the gym parking lot as we speak um, it's 12 30 like I said and I'm so tired today I think it's this gloomy weather it's like just started drizzling around me um, and I really hope my battery doesn't die because I don't know where my charger is I thought it was in my car maybe I brought it in the house I don't know um, so what was I gonna say it's 12 30. Um, after breakfast I had an RX bar around 11 30 because I knew I wasn't gonna be eating for a while because I just got to the gym I have some errands to run so I'll be eating lunch later on probably like 2 30 ish um, so I just had an RX bar as a snack and I just wanted to thank you all for your suggestions for this weekend I feel like an idiot not thinking of hard-boiled eggs because like there's probably like five or six of you that said do you like hard-boiled eggs because that would be fantastic and easy um, yes I do like hard-boiled eggs and I can't believe I didn't think of that myself I felt like such a moron because hello that's like the easiest thing to take with me um I can't believe me <laughs> so yeah I'm making a plan for the weekend so I could do this fantastically um, but I want to thank you all for your suggestions because they were excellent and they made me think well duh Gina uh, hard-boiled eggs are the easiest so I'm at the gym procrastinating chatting with you guys as per the huge and I'm so excited because I don't know if you can hear Christmas, without you. Christmas music is on serious um, and that just makes my whole life I love Christmas and my wedding is like five weeks away this is so weird um so I am going to head into the gym do a quick little cardio sesh and then I have a few errands to run so I am making lunch it is almost three o'clock um I've got zucchini and sweet potato roasting up in the oven and over here I have some little bell I'm making enough for today and tomorrow's lunch um, I've got little bell peppers that I cut up because I didn't want them to go bad and a package of This which is whole 30 compliant and I'm just gonna saute this and that up and then I'll mix it together with that kind of like a bowl if you will and yeah That's how my Wednesday's going guys Pretty easy. I have some bed to make and I have to prep the dinner for here tonight I need to pull out chicken from the freezer for the slow cooker tomorrow actually let's do that now while I'm thinking about it I think this will be enough hmm. yes we're gonna do this so we're just gonna do a little of olive oil and then sausage and then I will I like these to get nice and crispy. That's why I'm not doing the peppers first. I like these to get nice and crispy first and then I'll toss in the peppers. Here is my lunch. It smells delicious and I'm starving. I am going to scarf this down. All right guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making um, potatoes and a pork tenderloin. I am going to be searing this on the outside first because Rob likes it crispy, but we are out of gas for our grill, so that's how I usually do it. I got the naked um, pork tenderloin at Trader Joe's because the seasoned one has um, sugar in it, oddly enough. I mean, well, not oddly. Once you start checking your labels, more things have sugar in them than you think. Um, so I'm going to season this. Um, I'm just gonna cook them just like this, little potatoes, roast these bad boys up, and um, probably do some broccoli as well. We shall see. Rob ate all of the candy. There was this bowl was full because we hardly got any trick or treaters. The lighting actually doesn't look too bad today in my video. I wonder if Rob put a new light bulb in. Oil. I hate cleaning. Can, so I always. It might be wasteful, but I literally hate having to clean a, like a pan like this. I hate it. Literally hate it. avocado oil I'm using this like little I got like a smaller tripod 
um, like one of those bendy ones. So I'm testing that out. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh my god, look at this teeny tiny Tato! Oh, it's so cute. I need like the little brushes like I have at work. Those things are phenomenal. But this thing works well too. So you already know what I'm gonna season these with. I always season with salt, pepper, garlic. Let's get a little bit more on them. I'm gonna zhuzh them up too. Zhuzh. Let's do I have my dad addicted to the 21 seasoning salute from Joe's as well. I'm pretty sure Rob added this light over here because the lighting just looks so much better. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. All right, a little of this. A little of salt. I don't like to get food on my ring, so I always take it off. I have this cute little dish. It says Mr. and Mrs. and I always because I'm gonna have to zhuzh it. Um, did I do garlic yet? Oh my god, I go through garlic like it's nobody's business. I've never cooked these kind of little potatoes and I've never left them like whole before, so we'll see how these go. Um, I'm excited to try them. I need to wash these hands now. All right, so now I'm gonna put the potatoes in my dirty oven, don't judge me. Um, I'm wondering if I play the cleaning lady a little bit extra, she'll do <laughs> the oven. I literally hate cleaning, you guys know that. So I'm cooking these at 400. I have no idea how much time. I don't do timers when I cook. I literally just test it and wait for smell. Um, how I cook. So here's my tenderloin. Quick tenderloin. Oh, yeah. Um, a pork tenderloin is like hit or miss. Sometimes with me, sometimes I enjoy the flavor, sometimes I don't. Again, it always tastes better when it's like a teriyaki pork because it's covered in sugar. I was, I lose like interest in certain things. I've been dying to do a meatloaf, but Rob is not interested in a meatloaf. So my, um, I'm kind of actually annoyed that he doesn't want to have a meatloaf. So I'm going to sear this in here and then put it on a pan in the oven. I think I said that already. So I'm just going to season it with the same old things. I totally miss the barbecue coffee barbecue rub from Joe's, but it has brown sugar in it. No wonder it tastes so good. I'm gonna need more garlic. This stuff is to die for though. done and these cute little potatoes they cooked up quite quickly and I just have to take out the pork which smells delicious here is dinner I already cut one to eat because they were so good